E forties. <laughs> oh my god. In today's episode, I continue working on the red E36 328i. Yesterday I forgot to tell you that this uh, red E36 328i belongs to my mate Nikita and he was kind enough to let me work on it. And yesterday we swapped front calipers, discs and pads for 330i E46 ones and uh, since we are doing full brake uh, upgrade like also the rear we want to change the master cylinder for a bigger one and we are using mosquito we are using one from the e34 um, 5 series which is a bigger a bit bigger and will provide better um, pedal feel and that's what I'm going to start that's what I'm going to start with today and hopefully I'll be able to also change the diff on the car because it's also a plan. <laughs> The old master cylinder is out. Now it's time to transfer the fluid reservoir to over from the old uh, cylinder from the old master to the new ones and put it in. I wonder if it's gonna fit. Uh, it won't fit. So I made a mess without a reason. Whatever. So the master is in and it fits perfectly. You all, if it's possible, you always want to use an OEM part replacement if it fits to on your car because if you use custom parts, yes, it's easier sometimes, but um, it's a lot more expensive and using OEM parts that fit on your car is just cheaper. So we have one problem. Uh, we know that the pump has different fittings on it and um, we had a converter from one size to the other. I don't remember the sizes right now. And we need this, but the one that works the other way. So yeah, I won't be able to connect the brake line today. <laughs> Since I don't have the parts to finish the front of the car and I really wanted to get it like done done, I'm gonna take care of that booty. And isn't she pretty? What we want to do is change the diff. It already has the LS and LSD, but it has like 25% LSD and we're gonna put 40% one. So it's gonna handle a lot better on the turns when power when on power on throttle and it's gonna handle a lot better on the slippery surface. <sighs> I hate jacking cars up, but yeah, that's what I gotta do now. So wish me luck. <laughs> Just like that, we have the car in the air on jack stands. Uh, its rear end is on jack stands. 
Right now I'm going under to see what I need to disconnect in order to take the diff out. That, that took a lot of time. <coughs> oh my God. Yeah, allergy. That took a lot of time and I'm super dirty. I was like half an hour under the car just to take that uh, one axle off the diff. <coughs> I know I should do, do more than I did today, but I had a friend over who needed help with his rear brakes. I could have recorded that, but I didn't, whatever. Um, one axle is off, the other one it still needs to be off, then the drive shaft and the diff is coming out. Tomorrow I will probably be here with Nikita and he will, the owner of this car, he will uh, take care of brakes and I will take care of the master cylinder and the diff or whatever we're gonna decide. But yeah, stay tuned for t next video. I will try to release uh, three videos a week now and hope it's gonna work out somehow. Um, stay safe and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.